to um, to play Stan Costa songs at a Stan Costa tribute night. I have to tell you something. I got to tell you something. I um, I only met Tracy the other day, but um, I explained to her what her father meant to me and what my father means to me. And I've got to tell you, I don't use the words legend uh, freely, legend and hero, I don't use those sort of words very freely, but when it comes to heroes and legends, I've got three in my life. One of them is Henry Lawson, another one is Stan Costa, I love Stan Costa. And another one is my father, Freddie Platt, who's here tonight. He's over there. And, and yeah, he's very much in the Costa mold. He's an old bushman. He's a shearer and a bushman. And um, I, I spoke with Tracy the other day outside the services club and I actually made Tracy cry because she was, I said, wow, I've made Tracy Costa cry. That's a pretty good thing, you know. With these lads. Um, yeah, this is, I, I think this is probably, I don't know, I've been saying this for 20 odd years. I think this is the best song ever written by anybody and um, just so happens to be written by my favourite songwriter, Stan Costa. And it's a song called The Last of the Breed. Now, if you listen to the words in this song, Costa was like Lawson, he was ahead of his time. Um, he, if you listen to the words of Costa songs and Lawson songs, you you think bloody hell, how did how did they work that out back then? And, you know, like they were a different era, but he was he was the last of the breed. Stan Costa, so is my dad. And, yeah, we love this song, and so yeah, this is the best song ever written. That's what I'll call it, the last of the breed. All right. Tonight let us sing while the beer 
is flowing free. Come on, you fellas, bring us around me. I'm a drover of bats and the last of the breed. Who knows how to nurse them? Yeah, knows how to feed. So here's to the grand life to which I was born, as fresh and as free as the winds of the dawn. I said, no, I haven't. She goes, do you want to use mine? I went, if I could, and she goes, it's actually Dad's. Oh. I'm playing with Steve Foster's guitar. Thank you. Absolutely sensational. All righty, now, I said to Trace, I only want to do a couple of songs because I want to kick back and listen to everyone else. But, um, yeah, I'll do one of mine, which... Um, the biggest, the biggest influence ever in my life, as I said before, my three heroes, my dad who's here, and Costa and Lawson influenced me. So yeah, it's only fair I do one of mine. Paradise, you think? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll throw the pick away. That's just uh, uh, the three chords that I know. The G, the G C, and D. And um, I, like I said, you, you might be able to pull out a little um, lick later in the uh, song for me. All right, this is the song that I wrote. Um, like Costa, I absolutely love Australia. And Tracy sings a song the other day, and I, and I think she sung it in the first set about. About, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a shame that it, it seems to be, I've got a radio show, as Trace said, in, in um, Campbelltown, and it's all Australian music, and it seems to be a bit of a shame, I look out at this crowd, we're all, we're all proud Australians, but it seems to be a funny thing that it's a bit of an embarrassment to be a proud Australian these days, and I finish every show with a, be proud Australians. <laughs> Yeah, you know, seriously, like, shit, I don't care about the rest of the world. It's, it's only Australia. And this is a song that I wrote um, a few years ago. It's called Paradise. So. Bye. 
the strife here and all of the bad shit that's going down in your life. What you may not realize as you search for something.